So what do you do when somebody runs? When somebody just runs, I just jackrabbit around like this. You can't get me, coach. I can't. You can't, you can't get me. I You'll can. never catch me. Oh yeah. Yeah. Easy. <laughs> easy. Because uh, this is Coach Jared Robinson. He makes the hardest sport easy. You can follow him at Sacred Boxing on Instagram. I recently trained with him at a hard ready seminar here at Fit to Fight, and he showed us like what to do when somebody is like just running. Mm -hmm. Now whether they're running for a strategic reason, mm -hmm. or they're running because they're scared of getting punched in the face, because getting punched in the face is scary, mm -hmm. Coach is going to show us how to stop him. Fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trunks with red trim, hailing from Charlotte, North Carolina. Introducing Jared. So this is how it looks. I mean, uh, sometimes even running to still plot on the other person's demise. You know, yeah. to set up something, not only to. It's, yeah, it, so you, there's yeah, an it's intelligent a reason to run. Yeah, there's a time. But we're not talking about when they do that. No, we're not talking about, we're talking about running. <laughs> What's the best punch to throw is the, is the way I, I, I feel it. I feel like I, like I get a lot of questions like, how do you know what punch to throw? What, what combination to throw? So we're looking at disqualifying what not to throw first. I think that's super interesting. Yeah. It's like, what's the right punch? Well, it's easy to figure out when you realize that almost all the other punches are not correct. Mm -hmm. And you know why, picking yeah. the right one's easy. You've already done all the yeah. work in your head. Just funnel it down. So as I'm here, and he's moving in the circle, both directions, I made my straight punch may not be there on time. If he's moving this straight, my cross, and he's slipping. That's not gonna work. See, these straight punches are not gonna work against a person that's moving in the circle. That makes sense. Maybe the hooks, those sideways punches, right? So if he's moving to his left and I throw the hook, he knows how to roll. If he's moving to his right, I throw the hook, he's rolling again, and I'm not being smart about my approach. So what I'm looking to do, we disqualify those jab and the cross, we disqualify the left hook, disqualify the right hook to the head. Um, but I do like the sideways punch, so now, now um, to, 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 to make it make sense, we're gonna go low and throw the right hook to the body, right? That's the direction he's moving in. He's moving in the circle direction. I'm going low, coming to the side, and I'm getting that. But not only just looking for that one punch, in which actually I call it a stop, it's not a punch, it's a stop. Yeah, because people are gonna... Let's go ahead and address the elephant yeah. in the room. Because I know what you're thinking. What's well, like the textbook counter? You throw your little body yeah. shot here. To, uh, of course, I'm gonna mm, do this or mm, do that. Oh, yeah, you know? perfect, like, yeah. Reaction for sure, stuff. you yeah. can't just hang out there. No. Well, you don't throw it if that's the thing. If you're facing a devastating, quick, ferocious counter puncher, maybe don't do this. Mm. But sometimes you'll face guys that they're answering literally just to run. Just to run. Just to run. <laughs> Right. That's not what you've got. Right. Not only am I just throwing a punch, I'm actually going to cut him off. I'm actually going to get my ankle, my knee, my hip, all these joints to where he's going to, uh, where I'm intercepting where he's uh, moving to. And then I'm throwing the stop. I'm telling him to stop. And then I'm come back with a second punch and a third punch. And then put that in and build a combination based off that, based off his moment, stopping his momentum. Because that's what they don't want. They want to continue to move how they want to move. But it's interesting you talk about getting out in front of them, which is yeah. not, some people should understand cutting them off. Yeah. But he's actually talking about physically putting his body mm -hmm. in that line because if you just, if, uh, if Jared's moving this way and I just throw just a punch and impact on his guard, this doesn't hurt. He can take my little sissy baby punches on his arms. Mm -hmm. But if I want to stop him and put a little, and yes, mm -hmm. we are putting some muscle into yeah. this. There's <laughs> a little bit of muscle. People say you don't need strength to Fight. Thanks. You need some. Yeah. <laughs> you yep. need some strength. Yep. So coach circles, right? And I step in front of him and stop him. I'm mm. sticking him here for a second. Mm. I'm not gonna give, be able to get past that, that stance. Yeah. Thing right there, you got you planted so. Well, ever since you showed this to me, since we've been doing it in sparring, another thing I found is that when the guy's trying to circle and maybe I do this and he does keep going, mm -hmm. I have I have like that sensitivity. Mm. Like I'm like I have like a like a posting arm. Yeah. And I'm, even if I can't stop him, like if he's much larger, I can feel his movement. I right. just have one more little piece of information. Like That's how hard is he trying to run that way? Yeah. If he's running that way and, I, and you're going this way and I feel you stop, mm -hmm. then I kind of know uh -huh. you, you might be I'm geared up to stay in your ground. Yeah, right. <laughs> so I guess to sum up, a good way to sum it up is like it, as our friend Ryan Hoover would say, mm -hmm. it depends. It depends. Yeah. It depends. <laughs> but uh, let's just run that. If, I'll, right. I'll, I'll run, coach, right. and you stop me. Okay. You know, kind of show them that, that movement. 
God, you're so strong. He doesn't look strong. He looks real skinny, but he's real strong. <laughs> he's like made of iron or something. Yeah. And so right here, I know they're going to say, when you stopped me here, mm -hmm. I thought, oh, for sure. I'm telling you, no part of me was thinking like, oh, I'm gonna answer back with this. Because mm -hmm. he's already taken the initiative. He's yeah. already touched and, me first. Right, and that's another great uh, point too, because we're, I'm talking about stopping, but I'm also talking about trapping. Yeah. You have to be able to extend that arm. So what if you, the person that is doing this, if, I'm, if I have that mindset of punching, then I'm gonna strike. And I have then, the mindset of stopping, yeah. I'm gonna stop. But if I have a mindset of stopping and trapping, I'm gonna make sure he's yeah. on there, yeah. that's on there, and then I'm gonna get my second punch off, my third punch off, prior to him being able to know what's going on. Right. Well, also, and you guys can talk about this, if somebody's running, they're not thinking about striking, they're thinking about being defensive. Like, for the reason that you guys are saying they're running, right. they're up and like higher, they're not like ready to just pop off a combination. Yes, yeah, especially if they're if they're light. Yeah, yeah. Because I have to. Like if you're light, you stop them. It's going to. Yeah. Have like a. It's going to get buckled. I thought I, I legitimately thought I was going to try to do something cute right there, uh, and but when you stopped, I was like, shit. Yes, yeah. I can't. Yeah. Like I was going to be like, I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna do yeah, something yeah, funny. Yeah. Right. For the video, but I was like, I was like, ah, no, I don't. Yeah. Because the man's wearing mitts and we're friends and I know he's not going to hit me and I still felt like, nope, 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 this isn't right. Yeah, yeah. It's a, yeah, you got to put that tension on there. If you don't have the tension on there, you're not letting the other person know what your uh, intention is, I guess. So, Guys, go follow Jared. I'll put his links down in the description below. The guy is one of the most humble, most real boxing coaches I've ever had the pleasure of working with. Like, it's boxing with no ego, mm. all levels, beginner. Intermediate advanced, he speaks to everybody, visits fundamentals, visits some higher level principle sure. ideas. Go give him a follow. And if you want more fitness tips, self defense techniques, gear reviews, as well as concepts and principles that make you hard to hurt, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications.